All right, welcome to another segment here with David and myself, and we're going to show you today how to make iodine crystals. You guys in the United States contact me all the time about iodine crystals, and, how, and I keep telling you it's very expensive for me to send it to you guys, and it's not that I don't want to sell it to you, but it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. So I figured I'll show you how to make it. I made some earlier this week. Here's some iodine crystals that I made. Okay, doesn't take much. As you can see, it's, it's in crystal form, so you're going to make that. Okay, the reason you put it in there because it does evaporate back into the into the atmosphere. So, what we're gonna do? Now you go on YouTube on my YouTube and my favorites. There's other chemists that actually show you this in more detail. This is basically going to be a Coles Note version. Basically, you're gonna pour some. They're just saying about two grams. It doesn't matter what volume you're using to get the crystals. So, actually, we should weigh it out. Just so you have an idea. Why are we doing this? Because I don't want to stain my equipment. <laughs> we'll do this one here as well. Set to zero with the paper. Measure it out. What are you pouring there? Now this is potassium iodide. Okay, this is the actual potassium iodide. So anyway, I'm going to put eight grams in there, just to show that it's not really uh, for what we're going to do. Because we want to crystallize this. This will crystallize. So an iodide. Uh, really, really absorbs in water. So pouring that in there. I want to get in there. Is that all? Okay. So we're putting that in there, and we're measuring off. Give me a second here, because I got to follow this, because I've done this once or twice, and so I want to make sure you guys get it right. Give me a second here. Where did I put it? Uh, here it is. So we're going to add about. Oh, oh geez. Never made it. Okay, so this is why we do it here. So we're going to add a little water to it. Give or take. Not very much, just enough to cover it, basically. That's it. Swirl it around. You'll see it start to dissolve. Okay? See how it dissolves? It's very, very water soluble. It's a quick swirling. And before you know it, it's, it's almost done. Okay? This is pretty well, I already went that route. Because it touched the other stuff. Okay, so now we're going to add muriatic acid. I get about a cap, give or take. It's going to react. Swirl it around. You'll smell like an ammonia, like a, like a chlorine smell. That's what you're going to smell with it. Okay? See, it's completely dissolved. Now we add the peroxide. The peroxide is going to be about 10 times the amount of the water and the um, acid. Because you need this as an oxidizer. So we pour it in. Okay? As you can see, she's already started. Now, we just, just swirl it. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Can you hear it? Yeah. It's reacting. It's far no crystal coming up. Should have crystallized. Hmm. Why didn't that work? Might have put too much water in. Oh, it's starting to crystallize now. You're starting to see some crystal forming there. So it takes a moment for it to, to work. Anyway, keep swirling it, and you as you keep tipping it, you'll start seeing crystals starting to form. This is the other day, I didn't have this problem, I don't know why. If you did pour too much water, can you just counter that with a little bit more of the I've tried that potassium iodine? I've tried that with solution and it didn't seem to work. So it seems like it has to go through a process of absorbing it and breaking it down. And like it then, has to be a pro in yeah. order to the... Yeah, the I mean, that's what I've seen. So again, let's see what happens when I pour it through the sieve.
We should see some crystal effect there, if there's any. Can't really, can't really see it if it is still filtering. I'm not sure why. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, we will try that again. For whatever reason, that didn't work. Unless that's, I do have a film there. Yeah, it's not showing because it's too dark. Yeah, hold on a second. We're going to try that again. A little water. Add less water. We're going to add... Okay. Swirl it. Okay, there we go. Do you need the hydrogen peroxide? No, not yet. Not yet. Oh, it's, right, because you got to dissolve dilute it first. Right. Let me add a little bit of this. Again, maybe been too much. There is some crystal in that one, but not a, not a lot. She got a, got a lot more. Okay. We got a cassis. So we swirl it around. Okay, so that's dissolved. So now we add the peroxide. There we go, there's a purple. Crystals are forming. <laughs> yeah, work that time. See, yeah. There we go, okay. see there? Yeah. Wow, there we go. See, crystals are starting to form. There we go. So, okay, so now you learned, if you put too much fluid in there, see the it's starting to tilt form. It, tilt it more towards me. There you go. Yeah. Okay, you will start seeing more crystallizing effect. So again, when we did it the first time, see you're getting more, we're getting a lot more now. Look at that. So keep swirling it, swirling it, okay? And you're gonna see, again, more and more crystal activity. Now you can do this based on the ratio of water. What I did is I didn't put enough. Right? When we did it the first time, we put more water than we had the iodine. Because I've done this where I've done, um, we got about six. We got about nine grams uh, doing a sixteen a sixteen ounce a sixteen gram solution. You know by by, by measuring it off. Basically, what you're going to be doing is per you're going to add for two grams of I, potassium iodide. You're going to add one point five milliliter of water. So if you went up ten times, so you'd have twenty grams of iodine to um, fifteen mils, which is half an ounce. Then you're going to add another uh, fifteen mils of hydrochloric acid if you want to go that route. And then you're going to add another. Um, then you're going to add your peroxide at um, heck is it? 10 mils, so it'd be about 100 mils, so about three ounces. So it's almost like a three to one. And basically, there you go. You can see the crystallizing form formation. Okay. So you we're getting a lot of crystal. Look at that. See that? Okay. Side here. Yep. Yep. Okay. See all that crystal we got? Now. Like I said, for those of you who live in the United States, this is how you can make it. All right? There's your crystal. Crystal. Ta -da, ta -da. And look at that. And we can wait it out afterwards. Now, what you do after you do this, filter it and then rinse it three or four times because you got to strip off the other stuff. Once you're done, put it in a glass container right away. Dry it up, let it dry. Once it dries, put it in the container because it will evaporate in the air eventually. Don't put it in the oven, don't heat it, if you do heat it, don't heat it above 100 degrees because it will cut loose. But there you go, look at this, this actually came out better than the first time, look at this. <laughs> Alright, now to make a Lugo solution, it's a 2 to 1 solution, so whether you're using 88 milligrams, uh, 88 grams and 44 grams like the Hilda Clark or whether you're using 10 grams and 5 grams or 100 grams and 50 grams, whatever, uh, to one liter of water or a thousand um, milliliters. That's what you look for. I am impressed. This actually came out better. All right, then we filter it. Pour it through. And what you have is crystal. Okay? You've just made your own iodide crystal. So, like I said, this has got to be rinsed out. 
and away you go. And this is basically just left over, and you may see some res residual crystal there. It's, it's of no consequence. Anyway, you made it. See, I just showed you how to make it. Showed you how to screw up, and I showed you how to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now, while we're on this thing of iodine, in Canada, you go to a drugstore, you can buy tincture of iodine, which is basically an alcohol, alcohol based iodine. But this one's got propylene glycol in it, okay? Antifreeze. I don't know why in the bloody hell they put antifreeze with iodine, but this is what they've done. So, this one is to be avoided. But this one here is another brand in Canada. It's 25 milligrams per a milliliter, okay, of iodine. This is potassium iodide, more or less. So, we can take the same thing here, which we can buy at the store, okay? I want to convert that. Oh, look at this! I want to convert that. Talk about childproof. <laughs> <laughs> I want to convert this to a Lugos. So what we do is we do the math. Twenty-five times twenty-five is six twenty-five. That's what we've got here. We've got six hundred twenty-five uh, milligrams of potassium iodine here. So what we need is about three hundred and twelve milligrams to, to balance that off. So basically, it's the old Lugos, and this is the stuff I made. Again, you can't, well, I don't think I can get 300 and I can get a half a gram out of that, that'll be happy. Okay, this is probably about what I'm going to need right here, this little chunk. So you throw it in there, seal it up, shake it. The ratio will be the same, two to one. Okay, a Lugo solution basically that's what it is, a two to one, two parts to one. Now some are 7.5 and 5, which are going to give you about 12 uh, milligrams or 12.5 milligrams. The average human being needs 13 milligrams. Now you can also make this with a liquid. That's what we're going to do here. So we're going to attempt to do here. This one I haven't done yet. So I this one is going to be purely live. <laughs> Living, and if there's a screw up, you're gonna see that too. Oh, you think maybe they want you not to get into this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> All right, jeez, oh, these men even the plastic one. Go. All right, so we're gonna put that. We're gonna put 25 mils in there. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I gotta follow this formula here. Basically, we got that in there. Okay, so now we're going to add approximately, let's see here, let me read this, 15 mils of hydrochloric acid, so do we add any water, so you're adding 60 mils of hydrogen peroxide, okay, so we're adding 30, okay, so we're adding half the amount of muriatic acid to this, so that's about, so we need about 12, so I'll go a little bit lighter. Periodic acid. You will swirl it around, bubble, bubble, part in trouble. Okay, so we're getting 30 mils of hydrochloric acid or muriatic acid, one half the ratio of 30 mil of bottle of uh, this, and then we're going to add 60 mils of peroxide. So 60 mils is approximately two ounces. All right. Uh, so if you're adding 60 mils of hydrogen peroxide to 60 mils of iodine which we're not doing, we're adding one to one. So basically I had 25 mils, so we're adding 25. And the other one was about half, so that's about right. So here we go. Uh, we're gonna guesstimate here. Okay. This is a guesstimation. So again, I haven't done this one yet. I haven't practiced this one. So what you're seeing is live living Whatever. So this may work, may not work, but again, according to this, you should be able to do it and pull it out. Um, I may need to add more acid to this. So I'm not seeing it, so I'm not sure if this is accurate or not. Let me add a little more acid to it, I maybe mean, that's what it is. Now we're getting a reaction. So 
I'm not really seeing it. Or maybe it's just going to take a little uh, take a little time. Hmm. Well, this one didn't work, and I don't know why. Because, like I said, I haven't had a chance to practice it. But apparently, you can do you can get this. I'll have to go over this format. Maybe in the next segment we do something like this. I'll show you how to do it. Maybe we'll get it right. Based, I'm just basing this on the recipe here, and we we're trying it. Basically, we need 30 mils of hydrochloric acid. Oh, shoot. So this is something that will happen to you, too. Um, so, then if you're adding 60 mils of hydrochloric size to 60 mils of iodine, so we should have had 25 and 25. Uh, and then about half of that would be the, um, the uh, muriatic acid, which is what we did. And we should have, uh, what's this? We should have crystals with it, but it's not happening. Now, I don't know if it's because of the alcohol in it. I'm not sure why. I'll have to talk to my chemist buddy on this, why this didn't convert. But anyway, that was a failure. <laughs> and a waste of product. But you can use the other one because, again, it is 25 mils. We, are dis we have dissolved the uh, iodide in here. You've got, you just made the lugos this way. So if you got a crystal you can, and you don't have a, if you can get the crystal and you can find it, make sure, again, it does not have a, uh, propylene glycol in it. Because if it does, you're, at, you're putting antifreeze in your system. Not something you want to use. All right. Uh, until the next segment, to your health.